How you doing guys? Banfamatics guy here with another video and in this video we are going to be talking about the while loops. Well, I don't really use while loops that much but I can usually do most of it, my things that I have to do with the help of for loops but we will be talking about the for loops in the next video. So in this video let's start with the basic idea of the while loop. So let's start coding. As you can see over here, I will um, um, I will add a new markdown file and we will start with basic idea. Okay, so the basic idea of a while loop is that you will write down while, then you will have an expression over here which can either get true or false. And depending on that expression, your while loop will either continue to being executed or it will stop. And then uh, here you have to write down your statements, what you want to do over here. And that is the most basic structure of a while loop. And it can be uh, slightly different in some conditions like if we let me add a new markdown file so that you can and let me increase the font as well close this uh, here i guess it's gonna be much better now I, all right so so we have talked about the basic idea and um, uh, there is a variation that I want you to know and that is that uh, the slight variation is with the final clause okay and this is gonna be a while expression and after that we will have the statements as usual but uh, let's call this statement one or statements one because you can have multiple statements and then here we will have an else and in the else what we can have is we can have another set of statements so as long as the while loop is being executed uh, perform or do or fulfill the statements one otherwise go for statements two all right so these statements will get um, executed over and over again however this statements two will get executed only once when the while loop has ended that is the basic idea let's hop into the code so we will be talking about the simple loop example now we can define a very basic function we will define echo and then uh, we can also add a talk string echo the user's input until an empty line is entered all right and um, we can start the while loop the basic while loop that we just explored see this is while expression statements and right now we will write while echo one echo one is gonna be a function we will define this soon but um, for now you should know that echo one is equals to the expression over here all right and after that in the statement we will do nothing but in order to make this function complete we have to write down something and here um, the pass will be used so we will just type down pass all right now let's define echo one and in echo one we will also add a doc string uh, prompt the user for string echo for the string echo and return it as well all right um 
we can have this in inverted commas all right and let's go to the next line and here we will get our input we will define a new variable line and we will use the input function input function and then we will say that say something all right um after that we will print print um we will print uh we can add you said and then we will add the line or the input after that we will return the line all right so echo one is defined as well let's run this and we also have to call our echo function and see how it works so echo and there are no parameters so just empty parentheses so once i run this code you can see that over here i can enter stuff so i can say hi and it prints this then i can say how are you it will print this as well then i can say who are you it will also print that then i can say i am bioinformatics guy oh come on so it also prints that but once i want to get done with this if i hit enter that would be considered as an empty string and as soon as i hit enter you see that uh, input prompt is gone it's no longer there and the reason is that an empty string is considered as false and in our while loop it said that while echo one means while this is true pass and uh, uh, then uh, the thing is uh, that as long as i hit enter and it was an empty string we got the return from this echo one function which was an empty string so over there the while loop uh, stopped and then we stopped getting the prompt now we can define a polite echo as well which will only be stopped when you like say something when you want to exit uh, out of it like say for example buy when you will type buy it will then only uh, get out of the while loop so let's define add a new uh, code block and here we will define polite echo and you will see that we will also add a doc string so we will see say echo the users input until it is equal to by um, e. all right and come on okay so now we will say while echo one is not equals to by pass now you know that even if echo one is gonna be an empty string this statement this expression sorry this expression will not turn out to be false so when it will return by this will become false and our while loop will stop and let's call our polite echo now polite echo and let's run this so we got the input prompt again uh, say something we can say hi how are you i am good and um, if i enter just hit enter right now it won't 
stop you see that there are several empty strings now but if I say something else I want to go then it will print again but if I want to exit now I will say BYE by and as long as I entered by you know the loop stopped executing and our input prompt is gone so um, I guess you got the basic idea of the while loop and one of the very important things when you are running a while loop is that you want to record the values so let's talk about if we want to record a value so let me add a heading the values and here we will define a function that will record the values in each iteration okay so in our code block we are gonna define a new function and def and we can name this function recording echo we can add a doc string and we can say that echo the user's input until it equals to buy and then return the list of all the inputs so this might seem like a difficult task right now but i can assure you it's very easy what we have to do is to define a list we can store it in a new variable lst and we will um, define an empty list we will initialize an empty list over here after initializing a new list what we have to do is to define a new variable and store our first response before we initialize our while loop so we can uh, define a new variable and call it entry and then we have to call the echo one function and to get our first entry after that here we can start the while loop we will say while entry is not equals to by we will have to write down a few statements and what we want to do is we want to record all our entries into the list we will say list dot append and then we will write entry here then we want to update our entry and we can update by using this expression entry is equals to echo one so we will call our echo function again and it will give us a new entry and then it will eventually update the entry variable and then at the very end when the while loop is done executing we will return our list which will contain all of our entries so let's run this recording echo and you see as long as i run this block of code i got this input prompt here so i will say hi how are you where do you live and what do you do by the way if you really want to get to know more about me we can uh, go for a q a session and uh, if you really want that you can write down in the comments and then i will host something up uh, so that you can uh, tell me your questions on instagram or somewhere all right so now we are gonna exit this loop and we will type bye and you see it also printed by and then it returned all of our entries as a list okay so that is something you might want to do over and over again 
um, and that is very that is gonna be very useful for you in future so I can give you a detailed explanation and I will add that into the code so that you can have a look and you can have a look at the code at the end of uh, this video in our github repository okay so now there is one more thing that i want to discuss it with you and that is looping forever so when you don't know when you want to exit like how long the while loop will get executed you use a very easy trick but you have to be careful because you never know when this will end so looping forever and here we will write down the pseudocode for explanation so we will initialize the values here and after that we will start our while loop and we will say while true we will keep this true right over here and then we will go for changing the values or we can simply write change values then we will perform a test so we test values if the test values then we will return something so we will add return statement here then we can use values after getting out of our uh, if statement and then we can repeat this and at the very end as long as we get out of the while loop we can return our results um it might be a bit confusing at the moment but as long as we take a look at the example it will become very easy for you so um, let's get done with the pseudocode and start a new code block to see the code example coding example so we will be recording echo using the loop forever all right okay so we will define a new function and we will say that recording echo with conditional because we are going to stop our loop with the help of a new condition all right and we don't need any parameters over here so we will add a doc string and in the doc string we will say that echo the user's input unless equals by and then return the list of all the inputs received it's going to be very similar to to this one so i will just copy this i'm being very lazy now i know but it's it's all right okay yeah, i guess um, yeah so <clears throat> um now we will define an empty list again we will call it seek this time and then um you don't need to initialize a value to be tested since nothing is gonna be tested i will add it as a comment so that you remember why we are not initializing an entry so we will simply like write while true and then we will define our entry here entry is equals to echo one and then we will say if entry is equals to by then we will return seek and then um as long as we return the seek we will uh, append the entry as well so we will write down seek dot append and then we will append it with entry all right and it's time to run this so we will um 
call this function recording echo with can well recording echo with conditional and let's run this so we will write down hi how are you let me scroll up a little bit so that you can see how are you and then we can type by to exit from this you see that we got the same results even though our while condition is always true so we use this conditional to exit the while loop so this kind of while loop is also helpful in conditions when you don't know that how long a while loop is going to be executed so there is another type of while loop and um, we usually call it a search loop when you are searching for something and as long as you don't find that thing you keep on executing the loop and as soon as you find that thing you get out of the loop and stop everything so this is gonna be search loop and then this there are the loops with so these are the loops with guard conditions and basically you exit the loop in case of either of two conditions those two conditions are not not and and not test yo so the loop stops when either there are no more values and is true or value passes a test i mean to say you found your value let me write the pseudocode for you here and it will go similar to the previous one with slight changes so we will first initialize the values and then we will say while not at end and not at and not at target use current values and then get new value so that we can move ahead then we will repeat and after that we will return success result if test means if we found the value else we will return none like it, it is possible that you started your while loop for search and you were unable to find the thing you wanted to search but your whole uh, file or whole list got executed and you found nothing so in that case we will return none all right so let's hop into the code i will define a new code block here and this is gonna be the huge function and we will also add this function to our BINF uh, library of functions our module that we are creating alongside and um, uh, you need to be careful in order to understand this concept so we will define a new function and we will name this read sequence um, all right and we have to give it a file and I already have a file over here and its name is seek dump.txt we have already used this file previously and you can find the files in the github repository so we will give it a parameter file name and let's define a doc string here so we will say that given the name of a faster file read and return its first sequence ignoring the sequence description all 
all right so in this file you see that you have like several fasta sequences and what we want to do is to um, get all of these lines because we want the sequence of the first entry in a fasta file and we want to ignore this description and this line and as long as we get over here we want to stop all right so that is basically written in our doc string over here as well so what we will do is we will simply define a new variable seek and we will initialize with an empty string and then we have to open our file so we will type with open file name and as file and then we will read the line and we will store it in the line variable read oh file dot dot read line all right so now we got the first line of our fasta file in this line variable so after that we will start our while loop while and we will say while line means that a while line is not an empty string because as long as we got something in the line it will turn out to be true and if there is an empty string empty string is considered as false so it will be considered as false so we have the other statement and that is and and um, the other condition is line zero means the first character of the line is equals to greater than sign because as we know in our seek dump file that all the descriptions start with this sign so in order to skip them we have added this expression over here and then as long as both of these conditions are true we will read the next line so we will update our line line and then we will use our same function file dot read dot read line all right and then we have to define another loop so that we can record the lines which are not starting with this greater than sign so we will say while and then we will say line and then we will say and line zero is not equals to greater than sign then we will append our seek so we will write down seek plus is equals to line so this empty string will be updated at this point and the current line will be added to this and after that we have to get our new line so we will call the same function again file dot read line all right and then at the very end we will return our seek all right so that's it now we can call this function by using our seek.dumptxt file so we will say read sequence and then we will give it the file name which is going to be seek dump dot txt it is basically a faster file just the extension is txt so don't get confused FASTA file basically is a FASTA file depending on the contents of the file. Alright, so now it's time to run this block of code. As we run this, we see that this is TTC and this is TGT. And we will see in the seek.dump file 
that this is DTC and this is DGT. And then let's check the last line of this code and it is starting from here. So it is ACT and ending at ACT as well. So we will see that it is ACT and this is also ending at ACT as well here. All right, so that is the new function that we created. I will add this to our Python for BINF file here so that when we need it in future, we can simply import this. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this video and in the next video we will be talking about the for loops and if you have any questions comments or concerns about this video you can comment down below um, you can check our website bioinformaticsky.info you can join our community which is a facebook group um, all the links are gonna be available just below the like button you can also buy me a cup of coffee on patreon I will put the link as well and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching and I will see you around in the next video.